So one week back in my YouTube community, I posted about the importance of personality development and the communication skills. And after posting about that thing, I received a lot of comments where many of you were asking about my personal experience. Although I shared the same thing in that post, but still many of you wanted to know in depth that what are those common challenges which I face with respect to personality development and my communication skills before landing into my first job. So I will definitely talk about it so that you can know about my journey. And then after that, I will share my personal experience that how did I actually improve all these things, specifically the communications part. And I would say I am not very, very perfect into it, but yes, I can understand what others are speaking and I can communicate my thoughts to others specifically when it comes to the English speaking part. So I actually come from a very small town in Lucknow and in my early days all my schooling actually happened in the local school uh, which many of you can definitely relate. So till my 8th standard I was in that local school that too in the Hindi medium background and you can understand obviously I did not focus that much on the English part and even not the teachers, the school environment did not focus much on that kind of uh, personality development, even being uh, a student who is just uh, like eight, nine years old. Although during that time, the financial condition of my family wasn't that good, but uh, still my parents managed to shift me from that local school to a reputed school in Lucknow itself, uh, where multiple boards were there like ICSC, ISC. And for the Hindi medium students, it was UP board, like the Uttar Pradesh board and the school name was St. Joseph Inter College. So I took the admission for the Hindi medium because I knew I won't be able to survive in this English speaking environment because I wasn't that comfortable and I had a huge, huge fear for the same. So before starting the actual topic, a very, very important announcement for all the aspiring data scientists. So it doesn't matter what kind of background you come from, even if you have any prior knowledge in the data science or not, then our very first batch of data science bootcamp is going to start. All the live classes will be starting from 13th of April admission is still open you can check the link in the description and early bird offer is also going on plus you can also visit www.growdataskills.com to know more about the curriculum and other details about the bootcamp so just few points i want to talk about that this bootcamp will be from basic to the advanced part we have created a very structured curriculum so all the things will be covered from a proper sequence starting from your python till the deployment of the projects which is the main part and in the bootcamp we will be covering multiple industry ready project on the azure data cloud with proper production kind of deployment plus our mentors are there who will be solving your doubts in the live session itself and in the private discord community on guru data skills we have always kept the things very very affordable so this is the same thing you can expect from this bootcamp itself use the link given in the description and early bird offer and be a part of this first data science bootcamp hurry up enroll really fast so starting from my ninth standard till 10 plus 2 i completed it from that school so again was completely into the Hindi speaking and the Hindi medium kind of environment. And obviously I had that fear of English speaking, which I already told you. So after completing my 10 plus two, again, due to the financial challenges, I had to take the admission in the Lucknow University for my BSc. And I took the combination of the uh, mathematics, the uh, physics and the computer science. So this is the combination I opted for. But ultimately, I did not know that all these three things like the physics, the mathematics part, mathematics is fine, but physics and the whole computer science part is going to be in the English. But I thought now, okay, I can't get away from it. At some point, I have to face it anyhow. But any one of you who knows about the conditions of the Lucknow University specifically, uh, someone who studied there during 2011 to 2014 uh, time period. Uh, the environment wasn't that good to be very honest. Uh, not just the cultural part, the personality development, but uh, in terms of the education part itself, we didn't get that sort of guidance so that we have that kind of curiosity. Okay, what we want to do in our near future? What are the uh, opportunities in front of us? So again, like just with random thoughts uh, and without any futuristic thought, okay, what I want to be the next, I was just going with the flow, just wanted to finish my graduation, like the BSc with some decent score, 60, 65%. So by any chance after completing my graduation, I don't have any option. 
uh, maybe I can prepare for some government exams. That was the only mindset I had. So those three years, I have always talked about it in, in my multiple videos and in my multiple uh, posts as well that I wasn't that much self-aware or a very enthusiastic or motivated student who is just running behind his passion probably to uh, become a good engineer or someone else. Uh, so it did not happen. I was just going with the flow. Uh, I was trying to mug up the things, whatever uh, professors were teaching in the classes or just to pass the exam. I was just looking at some last time notes so that I can clear the exam and same thing for the computers. Although the computer science was the part of my uh, BSc combination, but still I did not focus on it. I tried to mug up all the programming related thing, the C, C++, Fortran and the basic data structures. Till this point, you can understand I would not have even focus on my personality like a typical guy who is not that much uh, fluent in English speaking and specifically have a huge, huge fear factor of speaking uh, in front of the public. And then after some time, things change. As you know, uh, in 2014, after all that hard work preparation, I cracked the NIMSET exam, got All India ranked 43, and I took admission in NIT Prayagraj for the MCA program. So when I went there, actually, that was the reality check for me that Shashank, now you are in that kind of environment because in NIT, Folks were coming from the different parts of India and even from outside of India, very competitive environment. And some of them also did the BSc from the Delhi and from other states. And when I matched my level with them, I was like, I'm probably in the zeros or minus in, in front of them. That's how they were very good in the personalities, very good in the communication skills and very sharp in the computer science subjects. And I was like, Maybe I'm even not going to survive my first semester uh, in this prestigious college. That was the demotivating thought to be very honest. So yes, in MC it happened uh, with me, but I had no option. I decided let's not uh, run away from all these uh, challenges. At least try to work on all those things which can help me to get a job. So I started focusing more on my subjects, programming skills and all core basic subjects what was supposed to be taught in the MC program and time to time to be very honest uh, there were different activities going on in our college but uh, I was much more into the technical related thing mostly like if there is any uh, coding challenge or anything I was participating in that one but nothing apart uh, from it like any extracurricular uh, activities where uh, maybe I can take up the opportunity to mentor someone or to speak in front of the larger audience about a topic or any other such activity which can remove my fear factor of uh, speaking and communicating in a proper manner. I did not participate in any uh, such kind of activities which was definitely a very negative point and in 2016 the placement started and again I was like very very underconfident because um, our training and placement sales, our seniors also told me that uh, these are the things which you need to work on because you are very, very bad in the communication parts. Um, I was not getting that level of confidence. How can I even speak in front of the others? And now I am basically talking about the challenges I started facing because of all these things, right? Whatever time I wasted, I did not focus on my personality development, my communication skills because I was just running away from all these things. So obviously I had to face the consequences of it, which I did. So when the interview and the placement session started again, I was good in the technical part. First unfortunate thing which had happened like uh, continuously, I was uh, not able to crack the written round of the multiple companies like Adobe, Paytm, SAP Labs and many other. And side by side, I was going through with very, very negative thoughts because I thought anyhow, let's say I'm able to crack the technical rounds of any company. What else after that? Because in the interviews, ultimately they will be asking the questions in the English and I need to communicate all the things in the English. 
i was just speaking the things in bits and pieces not with that much of confident was not even able to introduce myself thing i was fumbling a lot and ultimately due to all these reasons right even though i was strong in the technical part but this pressure choked my mind during the technical interviews uh, as well because i was under confident and when you feel pressurized you are under confident even uh, you know lot of good things about your technical stuff still you will not be able to uh, complete it because you have that kind of fear factor and you are feeling under confident so yeah all these things were going on but i can say i was little bit lucky in this part that there was one company named as opera solution so i was able to crack their technical round and then after that whatever technical face to face interviews happen there they prioritize my technical knowledge and uh, did not focus much on my communication because opera solution was a service based company and i will always be really thankful to them that they considered me and their perspective was like okay this uh, guy is very raw and very new in the system although very good in the technical part if he will get the environment i literally got to know all these things from my team lead who took my interview during the campus placement that this was our perspective like uh, if we give the proper environment to this guy he will be able to improve himself and till my mca as i said i did not get that kind of environment and also i was not pushing myself to just be more and more proficient in the english communication and plus the personality development after getting the placement i was pretty relaxed that okay whatever i wanted to get i have a decent start although it's a 6 lakhs per annum job but that is totally fine i won't mind for it maybe after getting some experience i will work hard and i will uh, move into good good product based companies and get more and more higher package 20 30 50 lpa that was my perspective maybe what i should have done at that time because my actual joining was in the 2017 so i should have utilized that time although that company gave me the opportunity it doesn't mean i should take it for granted i should have worked on my communication skills whatever could have been done better from my side now the question comes in how did i even improve because even when i joined my first company after uh, that for couple of years i faced multiple challenges in the communication itself but how slowly and gradually i improved it so first of all there is no direct shortcut of it you would have got these ideas from multiple people so okay start reading english book start watching english movies do a group study and pick a random topic and try to speak about it or maybe just stand in front of the mirror and talk to yourself all these points are theoretical to be very honest because you won't be able to communicate or you won't be able to speak properly until unless you just get away from this fear factor that uh, if i am speaking in english in front of many people and if i fumble or if i make any grammatical mistake then what others will think about me they might laugh at me and this is the major reason like the inferiority complex this is something which will always uh, pull you back and you won't even feel motivated that yes i can do it and i can communicate i can speak in front of 100 people because you always think about others what they will think about me so this was the similar condition with me like i joined my first company and i will tell you what kind of traumatic day i had like day one everyone thinks okay i am very excited going into the new uh, world like the corporate sector my first company i was very excited about all these things but on the day one itself along with me there were two three more new joiners and we all had to go uh in the india head cabin and uh, we just had to meet him and uh, we had to introduce ourselves so all those three four new joiners they belong to a very good college so they were like very fluent in front of him and they introduced uh, themselves and i was just watching them and uh, silently i just closed my eyes and i was like dude what is next these guys are just crazy they are very fluent in the english and i was like i can communicate in this manner i was feeling very very nervous my hands were sweating and i was like i'm i'm gone i'm dead now because uh, this is my first day in the first office first impression is the last impression 
and as soon as i started speaking i could not even speak that which area of lucknow i belong to literally this happened on my day one and as soon as i came out from his cabin i just went uh, in the empty space and i started thinking so many negative thoughts that no this is not the way to be part of corporate how would i even survive in my job they will just fire me in one month because i am not good at the english speaking so this is how my day one started but after all the self realizations and i figured out what mistakes i made i thought now it's time to rectify it again i have to feed my family i have to be in the job uh, i can't give them any opportunity to fire me at any condition so from that day i started working on myself first of all i removed that thought from my mind that what others will think about me if they want to laugh they can laugh if they think okay this guy is very poor in english speaking that is totally fine but whatever i could speak right i started speaking multiple people corrected me whenever i made the grammatical mistakes or uh, mistakes in the communication they corrected me i took it as a positive feedback and i worked more on top of it and the best thing which worked out me like i guess this is the major secret sauce which helped me to improve my communication skills throughout my corporate journey that i pushed myself to become the part of multiple meetings right so if you are also a corporate employee or if you are starting your journey in the corporate then obviously time to time on daily basis your multiple client meetings may happen or your internal meetings may happen so leverage that thing as an opportunity don't uh, just back out from any of the meetings because from there you will get the actual idea like uh, when you are in the client meetings you get to know people uh, from outside india overseas people you try to understand their accent and how they are speaking how they are communicating so when you are into that system on a daily basis it becomes a regular and recurring activity for you and things just start getting in your head and sometimes you even repeat those lines which you might heard in a particular meeting right and this is the actual thing which helped me to improve myself and then slowly gradually when i started uh, the content creation part i also again had that kind of fear factor um, i had that self doubt okay i want to start my channel in english whether i will be able to justify all these things or not so at the end it was all about the motivation it was all about to get away from all such type of negative uh, mindset and the fear factor what others will thing so once you are out from that inferiority complex then things will be very very sorted for you and the way i improved in my journey in the similar way you can also improve so work on all those things it's not very hard the communication the language is just a medium to communicate your thought but when you are working in a corporate so there is a discipline there is a way to communicate things as well and you will learn it over the period of time don't think what others will think about you just let them be maybe they will laugh on day 1 day 2 day 3 day 10 day 20 but the day you start speaking fluently you start speaking uh, properly like their mouths will be shut so you just have to wait for that opportunity and you need to work for that opportunity to keep their mouth shut